Chuck and Kelly, a very interesting uh, lawsuit that has major implications uh, across the tech world and the real world, if you will. A Texas couple is suing Apple over a car accident they say caused by a driver using the FaceTime app, and they're suing Apple, and uh, they lost their young daughter, and we're joined by our legal analyst, Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Hey, Paul. Good morning, Chuck. Good morning, Kelly. Happy morning. New Year. Uh, so this let, let's talk about this case. This, this poor little girl was killed in a crash. They say the driver was using this FaceTime app, distracted driving, and they're going after Apple. Uh, legally speaking, what do you make of that? Well, it certainly is uh, reaching new boundaries in terms of accountability. Of course, we have this individual that chose to drive and apparently stared his FaceTime while he was driving, and that did lead to the accident. But here, the plaintiff's attorney makes the argument that there was a safer alternative design that the Apple company could have, been in, could have put in the app that basically is related to GPS. As you're going a certain speed, it could turn the app off. Well, here's the thing. FaceTime has so many other uses um, that how do you know it's not someone in the backseat of the car FaceTiming a friend? Or, yeah. I, I mean, it could be anyone else in the vehicle. And um, I think that, listen, I've had to use FaceTime before uh, in the car when my phone died and I needed to reach someone. But I had it on the seat and it was kind of facing up at the ceiling. So I wasn't even on the face. I mean, it was using FaceTime, but it wasn't. I wasn't actually looking at it. They weren't seeing me. Um, but it was kind of out of necessity. Uh, but to block an app for someone in the, in the rest of the car from using seems almost like the, bl- putting the blame in the wrong spot. I mean, as opposed to holding the driver accountable who was using the app while driving and being irresponsible. It's an absolute stretch. We got people on buses. We've got passengers. You know, there are about four or five apps that I could see where it had the opt-in, opt-out, where they can actually say, well, you know, are you? Well, we've seen it before. Are you 18 years of old? Uh, 18 years old. Are you? Uh, operating um, a motor vehicle and you opt yes or no now you know that doesn't you can just hit no and you can continue to do it so what they're saying is is there a way to kind of make this a bit safer i think the plan's attorney's making a huge stretch here awful set of facts we've got this really bad decision on the part of the driver horrible outcome i don't think the lawsuit's going to get super far other than it certainly has made a splash um you know texas is where this took place you can still drive and talk on your phone. Like, there's no hands-free. So yeah. it's sort of one of the few states remaining uh, that allow that. So we'll see where it goes. But, Kelly, I agree. Personal accountability and the fact that uh, there would certainly inhibit the use of this FaceTime app seems to override you know, these set of facts. You know, you know, Paul. There's, there's like one Snapchat app that, that registers, you know, your live speed, and, and you could maybe, if you're an attorney, make the argument that it encourages people to go over 100 miles an hour and use an yeah. app, right? You know, but that said, to me, this whole issue is like, would you blame? Why, you know, why don't you blame the, the person who made the car? Or, you know, if you're drunk, why don't you blame the distillery? And, and to me, so I, I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure I understand the logic of, you know, trying to go after Apple other than they're going after pockets. somebody with deep pockets, right? Yeah, we would assume that the car that hit them had minimal coverage, not enough coverage, and they're trying to find some coverage. You know, the alcohol occasionally can hold a bar liable if you over-serve right. someone. And it's that same argument is, well, you still made your own decision. You continue to drink and drive. But people who are responsible are in a position at some point to say, you're not, we're not serving you anymore. Um, analogous argument here, very tenuous. I suspect it'll be dismissed. But you know, we're, we're going to we're, we're in this brave new world of technology, and uh, the law really hasn't caught up with it. So we'll see what Apple does. Paul Harding, Martin Harding, Mazzotti, one eight hundred Law ten ten. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.